I, I wanted to up my game a little bit and so I decided to make a label printer so here you can see pretty much how I, how I labeled stuff with like some painter step because why not really so I, I bought paper with uh, labels like this one and so I use KiCut and I draw a pattern of the grid and then I put some text on that which is like okay but sure why and so then I've decided to make something that like is a little bit nicer so you have like chemical structure which is like not really I guess necessary but some useful properties there and okay I can write something on there still I mean quite a lot of uh, real estate is wasted here but uh, doesn't matter that much for me so there's method to this madness and so hear me out I am using LibreOffice Draw and this is because I could not uh, make any other application to print like A4 format from like edge to edge and this is because the labels are made this way and even with the, the LibreOffice Draw it was quite challenging so what I have done is I have made stuff like this with in KiCut or KiCat or however you want to pronounce it and this is basically the grid like this this stuff and then I exported PDF and then I imported that in here which I can edit so that's great so here is the labels basically whatever here is or like grid here are the labels so I don't manipulate with grid because it would be like what the fuck and so the way you add label to here is pretty much you run this Python script and uh, it will ask you for CID formula or name so I, I, I don't know let's let's do this one any comments so you can uh, type in date uh, with like when you have synthesized this or anything you really want uh, but I don't need comment it generates this label PNG and you can drag and drop and I really want to drag and drop this thing because as you can as you print stuff you you like peel off the labels and so let's say I have free space right of my fucking god here I don't need this thing anymore I can make a video on that if, if you really want it's it's good stuff come on oh my fucking god Apparently I copy pasted it quite a lot. Okay, I don't need this. And I can make some more labels. Like... Um, I don't know. Like this. Yeah. And... I don't know. Like... like stuff like this and this this comment is not like not like it's typed in here as you can see you can uh, see density which is like mildly important like 1 out of 10 oh well, no 3 out of 10 molecular rate is quite nice to have because I really don't like to search for it all the time so that's like 4 out of 10 and melting and boiling point. Boiling point is nice because you know what? I need label for ethanol. I guess I can do TOH and this is 80% around. Alright and I guess this will be printed right here okay and just uh, if you are interested the uh, I have this here so this is uh, not using like uh, pumpkin pie or maybe it is but yeah it, it's just used for to get CID but then it 
uses this uh, this API to get JSON and then it parses it and it's not it's not perfect because yeah here the density is like greater like what the fuck but this is because it's probably greater than something 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 so also the melting and boiling point it's uh, it is determined by looking at page and it's tries to find something that has some number with degrees C I guess because there can be some garbage on the in the website basically some garbage data and this image is you know what uh, let's uh, yeah so let's say I am looking for this TCCA and so let's say I'm looking for this TCCA and uh, it uses this image just convert it to black and white and then to transparency because I don't have color printer but anyway then it goes to chemical and physical properties I guess uh, density is yeah greater than whatever and this is completely garbage to me I, I cannot even parse this what, what it means even like okay this I kind of understand but why like, which one is correct? Anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it basically parses this page and uses information from here. Uh, and that's about it. Anyway, so I will publish this on GitHub so people can use it. Because I found some uh, label generators on GitHub, but they are like... Um, not sure if on GitHub, but these are like web-based and which is nice. But I cannot like configure the label to because I can buy I can pretty much buy only this paper, like which is convenient to me. Yeah. So point of this video is basically run this uh, or drag this to this document and print. Yeah. And of course the issue is sometimes that first of all you sometimes print on the other side, but then the label that I really need actually, well really, I want it actually to use is printed like on different side. Fuck. Anyway.